שלום, שלום אזרל. שלום, שלום פיפול, אתה יודע מה? אני פיסון אופסה גלואן, זה זה... פיסון אופסה תעזור. אנחנו אנחנו ה-ISUPK. אנחנו לא קומנדים ג'נרל אהנה, אני חושב. 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 אנחנו in Trinidad and Tobago. Right. Right. Let me keep it mainly in Trinidad and Tobago. It, it is sad to see that. Mm-hmm. You understand? Um, just for everybody who want to know the calling number, right? Like WhatsApp is 771-1791. Right. Right. right? Um, so, yeah. So, like, let me get your foot at article. Okay. Oh. Okay. No, no. Before, before we start with the first article, people believe that what going on in the children's home will be was going on about five years ago hmm. some people believe that right? right or most people right right but they have an article here showing that this was going on hmm. decades right. years ago right. and nothing never came out of it right nothing never came out of it decades ago hmm. and up to now nothing still never come out of it right because all the the they're bad talking the children's authority hmm. they're bad talking this one and see the ill treating each other Yes, right. nobody is still being locked up for, them, right. for how they was treating the children and them. Right. Nobody names is being called right. for the crimes that they have committed against the children and them. Correct. So which means in the future, it is going to continue. That's right. You understand? So don't let nobody fool us. Right. Don't let them who are um, saying they're investigating and they're investigating, mm-hmm. don't let them fool you. Right. Because if they're investigating and they have the evidence, mm. why nobody get locked up? Correct. Or why no names ain't being called? Right. Everything is just hush hush mm. and sweeped under the carpet. Right. right. So, um, yeah, that's all. You, could, you could go in there, that's all. For sure. This is from the Guardian here, right? Um, words groom for politicians, businessmen. Right. So, we're reading from the Guardian. Right now, what the data this Guardian was? This was the f- this was February the twentieth Sunday February twentieth twenty twenty two right so this was February the twentieth of this year right right um it, it, this was by Robert Robert Sabga right right he breaks his silence on the children's home report Robert Sabga right right the headlines are in the Guardian it was the wards groomed for politicians and businessmen right so yeah good. Can on, can on. When we were done with this report, none of us was the same ever again. This changed us, says Robert Sabga. 25 years after he led a six-member committee on a groundbreaking investigation into children's homes in TNT. Right, so this happened 25 years ago. Nobody never get locked up. Mm. No names never be called. Mm. Same thing going on today. This was 25 years ago. Um, Robert Sabga led this investigation in the children's home. Mm-hmm. So who fooling who? Mm. You understand? Right. The, the people who say that they really care, mm. they really don't care. That's right. The people who say they're investigating, right. they're just mama guy in me. That's it. They just tr- train me a little um, bone and saying, all right, we, we catch them now. Mm-hmm. We, we go continue with the racket. Mm-hmm. Because no so, names being called and no bodies being locked up. Go ahead, mm. Tazo. Go on, go on. Right, the cabinet appointed Sabga led task force, including Diana Mahabir Wyatt, Halicon York Young, Bazdai Gaidin Kachpol, Valerie Allen Rollins, and Sita Bihari. Mm-hmm. Right. Tasked with reporting on what they unearthed at, te- at 10 the institutions. The views expressed are not home. necessarily the Sabga. views of the management of this street. 919 FM. Shalom. The Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge under Commanding General Yohanna will be on the street 91.9 FM every Monday from 7.05 p.m. to 8 p.m. Bringing you the truth according to the Bible. The ISUPK is a non-profit faith-based community organization that will respond to the plague Check that's affecting people. blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We also have programs such as education, both adult and youth, food distribution, rehabilitation, both drug and alcohol, mentoring, counseling, and spiritual support. Remember, tune in every Monday on 91.9 FM, 7.05 p.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shala. Shala. Right. Say, I'm here. Tazo, right? Right. Mm. One minute, sir. Right. So, the um, task with reporting on what they alerted at 10 institutions a decade ago, Sabga and his team discovered layers of corruption and intrigue 
Information gleaned from victims of sexual abuse revealed they had been specially chosen and groomed for the pleasure of politicians, uh, businessmen. Groomed for the pleasure of who? Politicians. Groomed for the pleasure of politicians. You understand? Right. So it's politicians involved in this. That's right. So who knows? Probably this is why nobody can get locked up. That's right. Or no names is being called. That's right. Because if Ro Robert Sapp got investigated this 25 years ago. Right. I think that was under the the, the, the leadership of um, ba Basdio Pandey. Right. You understand? Mm. He did this investigation 25 years ago. Right. And nobody's being locked up. No That's names it. being called. That's it. You understand? It's because why? As you read, read it over again. The information right. gleaned. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Information gleaned from victims of sexual abuse revealed they had been specially chosen and groomed for the pleasure of politicians, businessmen, and staff members. Politicians, businessmen, and staff members is involved in these um, sexual abuse. That is what Sabgam team had investigated 25 mm -hmm. years ago. That is why nobody get locked up. You understand? There's big boys involved in this. Right. So all those who claim it now that they so care about the children. You understand? But yet mm. still, you ain't calling no names. Mm. I, I mean, come on. All right, you ain't want to lock them up. Will at least call names now? Right. But now, nah, none of that ain't happening. Mm. It's because we don't know why. That's it. B politicians, businessmen is involved in it. That is why no names ain't being called. Mm hmm you know, and this is what Sabga had led here. His, um, his team right. to, um, to reveal. Go ahead. That's right. Mm -hmm. The team also uncovered evidence of physical abuse, fraud, and, and misappropriation of government funding at several homes. Mm -hmm. It's lucky, sir. Yeah. And if to add to it, it's children you're talking about, eh? Mm -hmm. This is not, this is not some, some house that they go on and, and they take over and mm -hmm. abusing people. Mm -hmm. Talking about children, eh? Yeah, the, children's homes. Yeah, the children's homes. So, so you, hmm. you understand? It's a sad thing. Hmm. You understand that to see that the, the, the children who we go in the um, the people who say they love the children and they want to take care of the children and provide for the children, hmm. you know, make them go through um, hmm. evaluation so they could come out of the state. They ain't, mm -hmm. they ain't doing that for them at all. You understand that they're grooming them for the politicians and the businessmen. Hmm. You understand? That is what Sabwan has left. Some, I, I had to um, ask the questions. What religions is these politicians are? Right. And these businessmen, if you ask them what is their religion, what they go say, boy? Right. Hmm. I mean, everybody know what they go say. Hmm. <laughs> you understand? But I would love to know, boy, if these politicians can actually come out and say yes. Hmm. Then, I mean, they go say that, but hmm. I mean, I would love yeah. to hear them say what religion that they, does be, they believe in mm -hmm. what God that they does serve I would love to hear them say that mm -hmm. and them businessmen mm -hmm. who having sex with these minors that, that is rape exactly. you understand that is rape mm -hmm. they're supposed to be locked up that's right because that is rape correct but nobody ain't doing nothing about it no names being called mm -hmm. nothing being done about it mm -hmm. well we, we know now why mm -hmm. right we know now why because politicians and businessmen is involved in it that is it that is how Robert Sabga and, and his team investigated and found out. That's right. Yeah, go ahead. Can on, can. Right? There are stories that can never be told. Not that they shouldn't, but just that they cannot be told, Sabga added. Mm -hmm. The former TNT High Commissioner to Canada spoke out, who spoke out publicly for the first time since submitting his report in 1997 to former Social Development Minister Manohe Ransaram. Now, Ransaram. Last week admitted there's such there's so much that didn't make it into the final report. Right. So remember he's saying last week they admitted, right? No, no remember this was um in February. This right. week, this article here was in February of right. this year. Right. Right. So he was talking about in that February. Correct. And last week he admitted that there's so much that didn't make it into the report. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah, right. Well, come on, come on. Speaking with the Sunday Guardian from his home in Canada and citing the, the often incredibly sensitive nature of what had been uncovered at some of these homes, he said some of the task force members were government employees and were understandably fearful for their jobs. I say so, well, well, that's self-explanatory, you understand? If, if I am going and investigate something, mm. you understand, and is the government 
we had to investigate uh, um, about, and right. it's them is my, how to say, my employer. Right, right. How I go do it? Mm. I investigate the same people that hire me. Right. <laughs> yeah. You understand? Come on, come. I mean, hmm, boy, hmm. this thing it, it really goes straight up. As Sabga say, it's politicians they're grooming these children for, Lazy. and businessmen. It Lazy. really goes higher. Right. You understand? So yeah, go ahead. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. Others were reluctant to sign off on parts of the initial draft of the report as they had not been present during some of the visits to the various homes. The final draft, therefore, was a heavily edited version of the one Sabga originally compiled but was one all members were comfortably signing. However, he assured overall all recommendations from the original draft were, conver- were covered in the final draft. Mm-hmm. Now, in the, now, in, now even the sanitized report has disappeared from the government files. The sanitized one and all has disappeared from the government files. Like magic. <laughs> you understand? Hmm. Like it, it just go on and it just magically disappear. Okay. Madness. I mean, what madness is this? This is madness. Exactly. Trinidad is hell. Hmm. You understand? Those children in those um children's home going through hell right now. Mm-hmm. You understand? Royal. This them growing up to be um. Hmm. You, you want to know why it is? It has so much of um raping and, and molestation in Trinidad mm-hmm. and and people being attacked on you know people being growing up to, and they're, they're so angry yep you understand um, research show that when a child when abused at a young age they, mm-hmm. they just grow up it with that anger in them yeah because they've been abused correct so they just grow up with it correct and just lashing out at anybody they see mm-hmm. they, they, they're violent that why so much of, of homosexuals and lesbians they're, they're so violent that's it that's because it. The, the most of, of the time not all the time but most of the time they've been abused mm-hmm. sexually abused right. at a young age and not just from men but right. from women because women does sexually abuse child mm-hmm. whether it's a boy or girl so don't just watch the man alone it's the woman too you gotta watch that's it you understand so when, right. when you're growing up now and you're seeing that this woman just angry all the time mm. or this man angry they're violent right you know what I mean? You, you gotta watch that because most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, right. is because they've been sexually um, abused. That is it. That is it. You understand? So, yeah, yeah go ahead. Cut on, cut. All right. You would not believe the level of intrigue we ran into, up to and even when we handled we handle the report in. I literally met Manohar Ramsaran in a parking lot at night and transferred it from car trunk to car trunk. Mm-hmm. He had to do that because it's so much. Um, mm-hmm. He had to hide. Right. He, he fearful. Mm-hmm. You know, he, he life. He life might be at stake. Right. You know, so yeah, go ahead. It was that sensitive, and we were all being watched. Commending Ramsaran for his support and encouragement along the way, Sabga described him as a decent, as a decent and caring human being, someone we all enjoyed working for. It ultimately became a very cloak and dagger operation, Sabga said, as he recalled standing in front of a children's home in Digo Martin, frustrated and angry after being denied entry into the facility, when he had a call in with the Prime Minister, with the then Prime Minister Basdio Pandey, he was urged not to give up or give in to the efforts of a few to thwart the investigation. Right, to thwart the the investigation. Right. Right, so um, give me the, the article, the, uh, not the article, the um, John 3 and verse 3. Come on, come on. John chapter 3 and verse 3. Right. You are me, you share it? Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, it's on sure. your page, you know? Yeah. Okay. John 3 and verse 3? Yeah, John 3 and verse 3. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on. This is the book of John chapter 3 and verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Right? Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Except a man be born again. Correct. You understand? What? Right now, Trinidadians is, is like a walking, undiagnosed, psychiatric world. That's right. We all have um, mental issues, mm-hmm. psychological issues. Mm-hmm emotional issues yep. 
we have all kind of issues mm -hmm. and we deal with, with our problems on our own problems right problems so, and when i'm speaking i'm specifically talking about black people yes sir you understand because that's what this school is for for black people right the bible is for black people that's for right the betterment of black people right when you read the bible is only it. the prophets is black that's right christ was black mm -hmm. you understand and christ only died for black people that's right he didn't die for no other race right he only died for black people so now talking here is specifically for black people right right we is we t after after slavery was abolished we didn't know nothing about um psychology or, or you know being a counselor right we had to counsel your own self we mm. we had to deal with our problems on our own selves mm -hmm. Yes, and, and everything was just passed on from generation to generation. We just call it um, post post dramatic stress disorder, stress syndrome, or stress disorder. PTSD. Yeah, PTSD. Mm -hmm. If I been through um, a trauma, I will end up pass on that trauma to my children. That's it. That way you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I, I can remember from the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. You know when it had bomb up in, in the states. Right. I wasn't even in the states, but why see on on um the TV? I went through a, a type of, of trauma that if I, if I, my my children and them, if I had children, I would have say, hey, I do all of going so, I do all of doing this, I do all of doing that. Don't go on no plane, don't go on no tall buildings. You know, so I would have passed on that stress because the stress, the trauma that I, I see just on TV. So you can imagine people who was actually there. Hmm from september 11 right. the trauma that them was passing through now put your foot in the in the um the, the shoes of the slaves mm. what them was going through right that trauma still exists today mm -hmm. you understand? Mm. and then it have a certain institution when you walk into mm. they're teaching us stockholm syndrome right to love the same man that enslaved us right them teaching us that go love everybody mm love the same man that enslaved you hmm. now when we love the same man that enslaved us now hmm. we end up hating we own even more mm -hmm. so like it's yeah, yeah, go ahead. if i mean and, and what this gusting about it too is this same institution as teach us mm -hmm. you understand they supposed to be god is that just god and god is our loving god right so mm -hmm. where is the justice for the people that have been not only enslaved or mm -hmm. that have been raped that have been molested that have been you know um mentally Mm -hmm. emotionally spiritually you understand abused and broken down to where we don't even understand we didn't think you know i mean that we were worthy enough to be called the children of god mm -hmm. right we thinking we gentiles at that, that time everybody else is gentiles and we the lord chosen children we so we so shaken and broken at this people and them you understand there's there's make sure that them get a pass but then you're, you're watching on the brother who's a drug dealer you understand mm -hmm. the brother, the brother who's a who's a uh what you call it a drug victim because you understand that this society and because at the same money given a pass this man is the man that have the ability they're going to spread the drugs around so now you're watching you'll be blaming all the victims and them and mm -hmm. not giving you understand not dealing with the with the problem itself which is the oppressor you know what mm -hmm. i mean this institution is a disgusting vile enabler of abuse you understand and all different manner evil on the face of the this that is the, that is the driving force them is the tunnel that does go to every evil that's passed through mm -hmm. yeah that um, that dies itself you understand? So be be, be really ready for again at all. Come on, turn. Um, for John Chichi? Yeah. So. Come on, turn. Right? Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I see unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, continue. Verse 4. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into and can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Right. So Nicodemus he didn't understand what Christ was mean. So Nicodemus saying, "Hey, you could go back up into your mother's womb and be born again." You understand? But that being born again was not what Nicodemus was talking about. That being born again was getting rid of your old self. That's right. So that stress that has been passed on to you from post-traumatic stress syndrome, mm -hmm. that um the, the, there's a trend now that okay if you watch somebody who been molested or, or a molester you watch a, a a man or a woman who does molest children if you watch their history 
most likely they have been molested right so because they have been molested they want to molest people now mm -hmm. and so the cycle could just keep continuing mm -hmm. you know from generation to generation mm -hmm. because you've been molested you will molest this one too because mm -hmm. you've been molested you will molest this one it will mm -hmm. just keep going on and on and on mm -hmm. well when christ was saying um be being born again mm -hmm. christ mean getting rid of that old person right how he has get rid of that old person by learning the scriptures right and how he does learn the scriptures by getting in the isupk that's right nobody else on the face of the earth could teach her these scriptures that's right you understand and, and give, give me the, the um one in uh, matthew 3 and 11 yeah gun, gun. That, that that might be the the, gun, the, gun. the, the book of matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 i indeed baptize you with water unto repentance right I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. There's John the Baptist talking here. Right. A lot of people just say baptism is dipping somebody in water. Mm. Right? But that is not baptism. Right. Go ahead. Come on, go ahead. Mm. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right, so he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit. I mean, fire. So, the Holy Spirit, just like what I mentioned before, because this, this, let me say, this uncle mm -hmm. molests his nephew or his niece. Mm -hmm. When his niece or nephew grow up now, they want to molest somebody mm -hmm. in their family. Mm -hmm. And because they've been molested, them go end up molesting someone in the family and the mm -hmm. cycle will just continue right until you are born again you right. learn the scriptures that you're not supposed to be a molester a molester you're not supposed to be a homosexual or, or a lesbian right once you read the scriptures you mm -hmm. you are born again because the old person in you right has gotten rid of so he's right. not a child molester anymore that's right he's not a lesbian he's not a that's homosexual right. that's anymore right. that's right you know, some because most of these people who've been raped and molested does grow up to be homosexuals and lesbians. That's right. mm -hmm. You know, some, so once you read the scriptures and you mm -hmm. you are born again, that old person, mm -hmm. because you saying, all right, I, I I know my uncle molests me when I was a child, but that does not give me the right to molest my um, son or daughter, right? Because I've been molested. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says you should not molest, right? You understand? Mm -hmm. That is being born again. Your right. old person you get rid of. Right. That is the Holy Spirit. That's right. It's like it's a, yeah, go ahead. And the quicker they could come to that realization, you'll see how good the Mosa is at judgment. And how just and how righteous he is. You know why? Because mm -hmm. in, in in the time before Christ, before the great spirit come about where you know what I mean, everybody else who ain't molesting, but they might be smoking drugs, they might be having you know, adultery, unlawful sex, sex and animals and all kind of madness. Christ now literally raised the standard. So here we go. That fire is now you had to come through where you know how to be perfect. You know how to make up your mind. I'm not going and willfully break no laws that you go oh God. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then when you get to that, then you can go back to where the Lord's saying that it's a death penalty offense for a man that raped somebody. Mm -hmm. A child molester has offered his head or string him up or whatever the case is, bathe him in a, in a bath of oil, whatever, so that we'll make a public example of him. That is what should have happened to your child. They are molested. Mom, well, you're molester. Brother or sister. You understand? That is what should happen to them. And that is what the Lord trying to bring back. But you're going on. Us sinning against the Lord, preventing real justice from happening on the earth again. That is what the Lord bringing you to. You understand? So what you want to do is come into the school and understand the vibe. I hear people. Understand the culture. I hear people. You understand? God, get to understand that there's a light thing with the Lord. You know what I mean? For you to you know, go through self fire, go through the little torment. You understand? You got to come away called cold turkey. You understand? And break off all these the, the little wickedness you learn and whatever the case is either gradually or one time. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? The best thing is to do is to cut it off one time. The Lord said, don't delay. Don't play it me. You understand? I try to, I try to free you, but don't, 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 don't stand them away. You know, because I end up touching you up. And that's not what you want to do. You want to touch up the people that offend you. Don't, so don't delay. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't. Just stop other brothers and sisters from getting justice too. You know what I mean? You want to put everybody under the ground. And these, 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 same, these same institutions that enabling people to do all this wickedness, you try to crush that flat. He trying to make them a, a, a distant memory, a nightmare. That them thing never exists. He don't even want that as a conversation no more again on the earth. That's what the Lord trying to do for you. So called black man, Hispanic man, native Indian man or woman who've been molested or not. You understand? That's what the Lord wants for you. The people who are abusing you and, and all kind of different things, you can barely survive, you know what I mean? And there's all kind of shepherd work you have to do, whatever the case is, and there's abuse with verbal or whatever. 
You don't try to make the, your enemies pay to you. Want to make that boss man who is not a, your, your race pay for all the wickedness he doing too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that is it. You understand? Be come in that school. These unions one I could actually teach a lay to have that Holy Spirit in you. You understand? I know people out there. You you could look at somebody and know they had the Holy Spirit. How? Just look at us in the UPK. We have the Holy Spirit because why? We just keep the laws of God. We just follow the laws of God. We's not hypocrites. We just say something and then do something else. We's not hypocrites. That's right. You understand? Those other institutions is hypocrites. They just say something and doesn't do it. That's right. We's not hypocrites. You understand? So we have the Holy Spirit. If you want to, if you want to know how, how um, you know Elijah, Moses, and them you, used to how their appearance was, mm-hmm. just look at the UPK. Right. We have the appearance of all of them. We have the Holy Spirit because we just follow the Lord. We we don't follow John the Baptist. John the Baptist repentance was dipping in water. That cannot save you. Dipping somebody in water can't save you. If you dip a homosexual in water, right. that homosexual will just come out of the water being a wet homosexual. That's it. That is all. Before he was a dry homosexual, he went in water, he's a wet homosexual now. Mm-hmm. That is all. Dipping somebody in water is not baptism. That's right. Baptism is learning the Bible. Mm-hmm. That is baptism. And we are reading about that same Matthew 3 and 11 to order. Right? I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Right? He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So we, right. don't, we don't understand the Holy Spirit now. Right. You understand? Come on. Which is learning. Right. You understand? Learning the scriptures. Right. You understand? So Christ came in, in the New Testament. He came in the New Testament. And what we don't understand of in the Old Testament, he just taught us it in a right. way for us to understand That's right. what it had meant. Correct. You understand? He never changed nothing. He just taught us it in a way for us to understand. Correct. He taught us the spirit of the Lord. In, the mm-hmm. spirit. You understand? So once you can listen to the spirit of the law, we are baptized. That's it. Don't be a drug dealer. Don't be a homosexual. You will, will they now baptize and now have the Holy Spirit. The fire now. Well, of, of course, the fire is not literal fire. You understand? But other institutions go think that the fire is literal fire. But them on other institutions don't understand the, um, the Bible. Them other people who just read the Bible, them don't understand the Bible. We understand the Bible. The fire is where it does go through what what is what we just go through on a daily basis where people always um wanna fight us for what we teaching. Your own family members wanna fight you for what you're teaching. That is going through the fire. You understand? The, the, the chastisement that is going through the fire. You understand? As Christ said, the world will hate you for what he teach. Other people just teach the Bible and the world loves them. You understand? They're not going through no fire. Right. You understand? We going through fire because what we just teach is what Christ was teaching. Right. And Christ said the world will hate you because you're teaching what he taught. Right. Them other people who just read the Bible, everybody loves them. They, everybody loves how they just, they just clap and dance and they just sing and they just say, let me all join hands and sing Kumbaya. Mm. Everybody loves them. You understand? Those other people who just read the Bible. But everybody hates us. We going through fire. Our, our own families just fight us when we're teaching what Christ said. We're on the streets teaching. People want to fight you because we're teaching what Christ said. Right. And, and, and it's so strange because all Christ said is, is to not be a drug dealer. Right. All Christ said is to love your black brothers and your black sisters. Right. That is all Christ said. All Christ said was do not leave your wife unless she horn you. Right. But other than that, if she's a nagging woman, you had to um, stay with her. Even mm-hmm. though she's a nagging woman, don't leave her. Mm-hmm. That is all Christ was teaching her. And when we teach that now, everybody hates us. You know why? Because the other institutions doesn't say that. The other institutions are saying, if your wife nagging you, run away from she and leave her. Mm. 
if, if your husband don't put a ring on your finger, mm. leave him. Mm. That that everybody everybody loves that because it's so easy to do. Mm. But when you come in this school, now you you get to find out that now. Mm. What you thought was easy, or, or what you thought was the right thing, mm. is really the wrong thing. Right. And because you're doing the wrong thing, what you thought was right for. 40 years, 50 years, 60 mm. years, it hard no for you to come out of it. Mm. You understand? Right. But that, that is what um, we're going through right now, um, right now, the fire. Mm-hmm. You understand? And if if those politicians who grooming the, the, um, the, children, the children and them in the children's home mm-hmm. for sexual pleasure, if those businessmen and them who grooming the children in those children homes for business pleasure as um Robert Sabga mm. said in his report. Right. You understand? If them leave whatever they're learning, whoever teaching them, mm-hmm. if they stop doing what they're doing and come to the UPK, they mm-hmm. won't be doing that no more. So like, yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. If I may, the thing is, um, we see in the institution, the one that come out of the Vatican, right? The mm. one that came out of the Vatican, the right. one that, that yeah. governed that institution itself. Mm-hmm. Let's forgive the perpetrators, you know what I mean? Encourage that that nonsense, especially one that had HIV and infected and had sex with 30 children. 30 children and they call him for, 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 um, for, for mercy for him. What mercy? Mm-hmm. Where, where, where is the mercy on the children and them? Where is the mercy on the families and them? But you're protecting these monsters and they. They're supposed to be dealt with. That is a law. You're breaking the laws. Right. The Lord say the, pen, the punishment for sin, you understand, is death. Mm-hmm. Certain things you're not supposed to get a pass for. Just like a man, you understand? If a woman or a man, that's, they have to leave, you have to depart. There's mm-hmm. no mercy there. You understand? If you're going you're gonna to break a law right now and you're going to steal some money, you have to go and pay for it, you have to go and pay a fine, you understand? Or, or sit down the jail mm-hmm. and repay the person. There's no, there's, no, there's no mercy there. That is not mercy. Mercy is when you decide to do the right thing or you decide to own up to your sin, right? And that is the mercy you get. That is what mercy is. That don't mean you don't pay it. If the court if the if the if courts gave mercy to pay a bill, that don't mean you know, you don't have to pay it. You have to pay it. You just have some time to pay it. Mm-hmm. That is not mercy. What they're encouraging there is, is folly, the enabling wickedness on the earth. That is what these institutions is known for, and and, and the other institutions that follow them that, that come out of them is the same exact thing. That is why the politicians are getting away it. And then when they ask them what religion there is, they they align it right with the with the institutions because every. Every Easter service or whatever they're having, they're right inside the institution. Mm-hmm. Right along there. Smiling, big, bright, and down. Then they're they, they, they listening to yeah. about, about forgiveness for what I do. Mm-hmm. That you have no forgiveness day. It licks. Mm-hmm. Right. But it should kill them, you understand, for that nonsense. Because they should not be able to walk away without doing that. They should get punished for being a vile, disgusting beast. And not being brand new again. Not because you get molested means you should molest. Right. And I don't know who does who does molest them business people. Most of them <laughs> is just folly. It's just right. they are accustomed to doing a set of drugs and nastiness, and they just change their mindset to go and interfere with children. It is disgusting ways that they learn. Mm-hmm. But but I, I would love to know the names of these politicians. Yes, who be molesting these yes. the, these children and many children. Well, them as, Sab, the, as Sab, the Robert Sab that said in his report. That's right. Who is these politicians? Correct. No names up to now is being called, mm. and this was twenty five years ago. Right. No nah, man, no. Nah. Being protected to oh, the yeah. people on the earth. Mm-hmm. Trinidad is just a, a vile, disgusting, disgusting place. place now. It's right. just disgusting. Mm-hmm. You understand? Let let g- give me the um the next Switch article. On. The one the next article. Okay. Oh, right. We're going to our next article now in the Guardian. Right. Right. We ain't done with the um the the children's report yet. Right. That is that is madness. Mm-hmm. Decades ago, this report has been out. Mm. No names has been called, and nobody has been locked up. Mm. Nobody has been locked up, and up to now, um, this was twenty-five years ago that we that we were had read with Robert Sabga. Right. Right. Now we twenty twenty-two. Mm. They investigated um, again, and mm. still no names, mm. and nobody get locked up. No. Absolute crazy. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Guardian again. Right, report into abuse at children's home. Find staff investigate beatings. Right. What date this was? This was six days ago, they say. Right. May yeah, the May May the second. May the second of, of 2022. 2022. Right. right. This is the Guardian. Go ahead. Right. 
St. Jude's Home, this is where you see near St. Mm-hmm. Jude's Home for girls in Belmont, Port of Spain. Mm-hmm. And it's still always, most likely the person that took the photo, right? right. Annalisa Paul, the Judith Jones Task Force uncovered horrific tales of physical abuse at children's homes around the country, some of which were described as non-accidental incidents which actually led to death in some situations right so it was a non-accidental incident, incident. Right. Me, 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 meaning what it was an accident it was an accident it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't it was done mistake. intentionally That's it was right. done intentionally right and in some cases worst case scenario it led to death hmm. so <laughs> all of these things you saw going in the children's home right and no names being called hmm. no names and nobody get locked up hmm. nah man Mm-mm. Yeah, go, go. I'm going to as well. The 307 page report, which was released by Minister of State in the office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for gender and child affairs, Ayanna Webster Roy, last Friday explicitly detailed the sexual, physical, and psychological abuse many wards face at institutions across the country. Mm-hmm. Good. In the area of physical abuse, the committee reported physical abuse includes the punching, beating, kicking, biting, shaking, throwing, stabbing, choking, hitting with hand, stick, strap, or other objects, burning, or other forms of harm to a child that is inflicted by a person, whether an adult or older child, causing non-accidental physical injury, ranging from minor bruises to severe fractures or death. All right. So all this is what used to go on in the children's home. You understand all all of this, and up to now we, we still we still waiting for some names to be called. Mm. You understand somebody fooling somebody. Mm-hmm. You understand mm. uh, how how this this say not going you could fool somebody. Or um, somebody time somebody you can't fool time. them all the time. But you, can't, you can't fool them all the time. That's right. <laughs> you understand? Correct. You understand? Like I mean, mm. them. I mean, hmm. you, you can't fool us in UPK. I mean, I I don't know if if you you're fooling. The mm-hmm. other people, mm-hmm. you understand, but that's what the, the priests and prophets is here for. That's right. You understand, to, to really teach and wake up the people and them, mm-hmm. shake them up. That's right. And let them know why this is this is why you mustn't vote. Correct. You understand? Mm-hmm. The, this is why the, the scriptures say, hey, don't vote. Mm-hmm. When they wanted, when they voted in the Bible, they voted to murder Christ. Right. That is when they voted in the Bible. You understand? Everybody say, all right, um. The majority of them pick um Barabbas to be free. Mm-hmm. Right. And they say kill Christ. So like I say, go ahead. If I may, a very key element in that story as well. Mm-hmm. And that historical record, I should say. Not even mm-hmm. a story. It's not a story. These institutions make you feel as a story. Right. The religious leaders at that time that, that have the same institutions today that are operating with the same spirit, those mm-hmm. are the ones that was proud in, that was proud in the or, ch- or encouraging the crowd to pick Barabbas over Christ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In the same manner they do today, you understand, and they spread their lies in all the different ways. And then, if you read your Bible, you pick it up and read it, you'll see the the the, the way you call it, the um, the ways, the characteristics of the of them of them 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 folly people in them. And these, these people are running these institutions today. Them was telling the, the crowd to pick Barabbas and pushing them that way because they had influence on the crowd. You know, where like where your money coming from? That way, you know, your play coming from and your, your money and your, your salary and all that coming from. In the same uh-huh. manner, that is what they do. This, oh, somebody hello, good night. Yeah, man, good night. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Shalom, brother. Mm-hmm. Good night, man. Yeah. Shalom. Shalom, that's what they said. Yes. Hello? Yeah, yeah, brother. Shalom, shalom. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's all. You know, um, I, I really, I really love Abu Mayas. You know, how you all put things across. I'm not really disagree with all of them. But, um, you know, I, I really like the depth of thought and the, uh, is a really unique perspective. Like I said, I don't agree with anything. But of important, with everything. But of importance for me is that, um, you know, we, we seem to have a sense of separation. Humanity has been reduced to savage, like animals, psychologically. You understand? And we, we, we seem to think that, for instance, if we're religious, the word, you seem to think the word is a book. It's a topic that I brought up a couple of times already. But the, 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 the word, the religion word, is, is, is how to put it there, um, 
is the other word is, is people. It, you understand? Sometimes you pay more attention to the doctrine than to the reality. If, if you understand what I'm trying to say, we, we, we do not know the depth. We do not have the depth of understanding to, to realize that a child being born anywhere under any circumstances is the continuation of God's view with them because they cannot write any Bible, you talk around anything about people. Right. So every when child is, a, is, is, is part of is the rule of God then. And I think we, we separate ourselves from our duties in terms of our parents and our concern and stuff like that. We seem to think that, um, you know, the, the, the taking care of our progeny is, is, a, is a side side hustle, not knowing that that is the main thing. Correct, in terms of humanity, is 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 to and we keep looking at you know protecting children and having children. I said people, I said people said they were that if I settle down, I want to have more children. Is that understand? Because you, you could only make changes, or, or, or you could only express what you believe and what you read in your doctrine by manifesting it. <laughs> Correct. Now, here go on, brother. If I may, if I may, right there, yeah. and, and you're on point, yeah. spot on. You know why? Because here go on. Them people need to see an example, brother. Right? And that is what we're trying. You see, the, the, the reason why we up here, you know what I mean? We might have it in a different format. You might even get a vibe with it, really get to understand. Yeah. Yeah. That village, yeah. now. You know what I mean? That village, you talk about it, to raise the child. Where, but you don't have to frighten. You understand when the child come here? Because what we just teach you people in the school here, a child, a woman not allowed to go and sit down and take great birds. She had a fight until the death, you know what I mean? We can't fear because tomorrow the air poison, you understand, the water, the friend, whatever the case, we had to fear the Lord. So you go on, we're going to show you then realistically how this really take place then. And that is what we're missing in the society in I feel you on job. I saw here, yeah. you're listening, you know what I mean? So I just want to say big ups again and thanks for the call and stay tuned. And link with okay. people when you get a chance. Come through, hey, hold but on. I want, I want to continue. Friday. I want to continue on this discussion because I try to... So I, like, I just, Wherever, wherever I get out of my meditation and the right. different logic and speaking to God and things, and I would like to keep it to myself and I want to be of the elders also. Anyway, I'll lock on and listen and I'll call and try and write. Well, you're going later. too. You're going for yourself and others. You know what I mean? Other brothers, just come through. It doesn't matter what level they're on, whatever. Just come and vibe. Two, you see right. Friday? You understand? We are camp. So from 12, we will be able to tell ladies that you're one-on-one, but after that. No, 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 no. Right from 12, no. I know, man, my opinions were different, right? Now, okay, so. which brothers, at the end of the day, we is family, we is blood. At the end of the day, the Lord go and set up everything how you wanted. So, me, we are time with that, yeah, right? So, you're going 12, yeah. 12 noon till 7, around, well, 5, whatever the case is, we're going to be around. Let's pass strong, give you a vibe now, and let you heal, and that's, that's normal. That's line. Well, I had to take a time from work and keep back at the Like it is, like it is. That's not thing, you know what I mean? Call the number 2905 is. You might just be around yeah, live, you know what I mean? Check it afterward now. Okay. And it's that. Really? All right, so done. Love in your blood. Thanks again for the call. Straight. Yeah, man. Man, man. The most I'm going to give the third article. Come on, come on. Yeah, man, what's up? Right, yes, sir. So, this is the Daily Express, you know, right? May the 4th, 2022. Minister, perp- perpetrators will be dealt with. Right, well, well we, we all know that no perpetrators is going to be dealt with, right? Because mm. this is going on <laughs> decades ago, right? No names being called and nobody get locked up, mm-hmm. right? So, this is just mama gizum. Mm-hmm. No perpetrators is going to be dealt with, right? You understand? And, and even though they're just lock up at one or two people, don't make them fool you. That is just a curtain so the real big boys and them ain't go get locked up. Because right. until they, they lock up a politician, then I go say, yeah, they're genuine. Correct. But if you ain't see no politician or businessman get locked up. Full on, Jim. Nah, they're just, they're just mama guy in us. That is it. That's all. You understand? So I'm here. Yeah, that's all good. Right, so unsafe. The Margaret Kisto Children's Home in Malabar, Rima. Photo by Curtis Chase, right? So police are expected to be called in to investigate what crimes were committed at children's homes. Minister in the office of the Prime Minister with responsibility for gender and child affairs, Ayanna Webster Roy, said yesterday she believes the Children's Authority will be taking steps to ensure that persons who perpetrated crimes against children at children's homes are held accountable. Right, I'm just just skip down where it says the public is looking to the government. All right, let's skip skip down. Is a heading or in between? Yeah, it's, a, it's a paragraph. Just keep going straight on. You go see it. Right. It's a, it, it I see it. Mm-hmm. Right. The public is looking to the government, 
but it is not also asking two important questions. Where are we going wrong as a society that so many of our children have to end up in homes? One, are we not supporting the family structures? And secondly, what are we saying to each other when we know? Just one second. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Shalom, who, who's this? Hello, good night. This is a sister in calling here. I'm not just called to say, keep up the good work. Hey, big right, up sister. So Watch things again. Yeah, Don't know. Shalom. Yeah. Shalom. All yes. right. Yes. So Can we answer, mm -hmm. For sure, right? And secondly, what are we saying to each other when we know that we have a tendency to be deviant? deviant? How can we encourage each other to do better and to be better? Webster Royas. Right. So she's asking the question now. She's asking the question, where are we going wrong as a society that so many of our children have to end up in homes? Mm -hmm. Right? Well, the first thing that we do, we're doing wrong is we not listen to the priests and prophets in the ISUPK. Mm -hmm. You understand? That, that is what black people are doing wrong. Because, again, if you go in those homes, the majority of people in there is black and Hispanic people. It, 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 just like if you go into the prison, the majority of people there is black people. Mm -hmm. You understand? So the first thing that black people is doing wrong, we as a society as black people is doing wrong, is not listening to the ISUPK. Mm -hmm. You understand? There's Very different good. reasons why these children are going to these, these homes. There's a set of different reasons. But if all of just come in the UPK, mm -hmm. learn the Bible, know who all your God is. You understand? Because apart from poverty and, and the oppressions of, of these other races in life that they have black people under, one of the other reasons too why it is we having these problems in society is because we do not know who our God is. Mm -hmm. You yeah. understand? We feel Buddha as we go. We feel allies we go. Mm -hmm. We feel Krishna as we go. Mm -hmm. We feel um, a white Jesus as we go. Mm -hmm. But we, we really don't know who we God is. Right. You so like understand? I said, so you yeah, didn't understand if I went in you go and yeah. taste and see how good the Lord is. That's what's going on. Mm -hmm. huh? Or they never get exposed to the spirit that the most, like really and truly the vibe of the most high, yo. And how you call the more like, oh, hey, you see a man passing on the road, bumping the real loud music thing. Real jam, you feel like you feel like you're a young brother, you want to play right too, you know what I mean? That mm -hmm. is what, that is what the Lord love. But in the right way of doing it now. The Lord love that kind of thing. He love street vibes, you know? The Lord mm -hmm. like that kind of, that is the, the most high vibe. All that we don't have the same different background, all that, you know what I mean? But in terms of we culture, yo, we culture is that brother culture, is that sister culture, that village, that kind of block of vibes, that kind of pot, you understand, know, bubbling, I'm making sure, well, you have, I can borrow sugar by you, then you don't sweat. You know what I mean? I'm making sure I take care of you. If I have extra trees, you gain some out of that, don't worry yourself. You can get a hand of fake. Nobody could come wrong with that shepherd thing, you understand? Know, that is the vibe of the most high. That is the laws. Every law that put inside that Bible is to protect and to love each other. Mm -hmm. Every law, if you read it, the spirit of the law is that. Like what Christ comes to show you. Real talk. And mm -hmm. that is what we must send. That is why the, the officer are now saying we listen to everybody else in the sun than the priests and prophets in the ICPK mm -hmm. because you ain't really gained to connect with your with your source. You know what mm -hmm. I'm Doesn't matter if you are nerd, whatever you, you like comics. I send down what you are watching your comics, whatever the case is. I might be right to what you you understand? Know but us it's the same thing. But come in the school and just link, you know what I mean? Let's come on, vibe. And come and see what's the code, you know what I mean? And like yourself and let me do the thing. Who we, we can't wait for Buddha and them because Buddha and them don't look like we. A lot of them, there's not, they're the Arab God, you understand? Let them keep their God. But you have a nigger God, sorry, a Negro God. According to that Bible, he be black like you. Christ black, the Indians black, everybody. Black, Hispanic, and Native Indian as black people, as one people. Like what we have, you understand? And we disconnected from that. So we can't operate, we can't function, we can't think, we can't see. We can't hear properly, you understand? Because we're listening to everybody as God. So we had to really find back and touch back base of that. Yeah? Yeah, that is it. We saw other people except we own. That is it. That is it. You yeah, understand? So we need that to we need to come to the ISU. We can find out who all our God is. Correct. Once all know who all our God is, all those relationship problems that mm -hmm. Allah does have, mm -hmm. it will be solved. Simple. So the, the woman now who going from Tom they can Harry from the front man, she will stop that. Correct. Because you know she's she not supposed to be doing that. Simple. The man who does go with these women and just leave them, mm -hmm. he know that he can't do that anymore. He mm -hmm. have to stay with that woman. That's it. You understand? Because a, a child, for a child to grow up the right way, the mother and the father have to be there. That's it. Right? The mother and the father have to be there. That's it. That's it. Right? The mother, a mother alone can't raise a, a child the, the right way mm -hmm. by herself. 
Correct. Right? The father have to be there. Mm-hmm. Right? And you as the mother have to know, hey, you can't just kick the man out of the, ho- the house because mm-hmm. why? He get an ex-woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand? Know because the man get an ex-woman, you kick the man out of the house. Le- mm-hmm. Leaving the child to grow up fatherless now. When the child start to grow up fatherless, the child go be um might want to grow up to be a drug dealer or some murderer. Mm. You, you, you can't um, handle the child at a young age because it's so out of control then. Mm. You want to put the child in the children's home. Mm-hmm. When you put the child in the children's home now, he being ill-treated in the children's home. Mm. You understand? Know Men want to have sex with him. Mm. Women want to have sex with him. It's all kind of evilness. They're fighting, they're beating him up. Worst case scenario, damn death mm. might take place. You understand? Know so, I mean, come on, man. Once you come in the ISU, we can be teacher the laws of God. We know that, hey, mm-hmm. it have a six-month rule. Right. Right? A woman had ha- to know that she don't have to open she leg to, to, for Tom they can hurry. Mm-hmm. You understand? Know, so, a man pass and just what, buy a box of KFC and just open your legs. Mm-hmm. It have a six-month rule. You know, you stay with that man. You know, or you all are courting. Or are just talking. On, on the phone alone for six months just talking on the phone you understand then another six months dies when all start to go out but, but no sex ain't taking place yet you understand but within that whole time frame you, you might see he might have a way that you don't like so you know you could you could leave him because all never had sex because sex is marriage according to the bible but once you have sex with that man you have to stay with him you understand so there's a lot of issues why the children and them just go up in the children's home Right, but the main thing is once all black, Hispanic, and native Indians gain the UPK, mm-hmm. the children won't have to be no children's home. Right, you understand? The children will be home with their mother and father, living a nice life, a mm-hmm. comfortable life. They won't have to be there. Right, you understand? And, and all that raping and molestation that has been going on, all of that will stop mm-hmm. because even though you know as a man that you have been raped by your uncle. You will say, you know what? I will not pass this on to my children. Mm-hmm. I go, I go stop it here because you had the Holy Spirit now, which is baptism. Mm-hmm. You get baptized and the Holy Spirit come upon you. Right? The baptism again is learning the scriptures, not dipping in water. If you dip somebody in water, they will just get wet. Mm-hmm. That won't change them. But if you teach somebody not to be a drug dealer right. in the Bible, they will mm-hmm. stop being a drug dealer. Right. That is baptism. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm giving um, mm-hmm. if he is Ephesians four and five. Right. Yeah. Ephesians four. And five. The book of Ephesians chapter four and verse five. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Right. There's one Lord, one faith, and one one baptism. There's not two lords or ten lords or twenty lords. You know, understand? So there's only one Lord. Only one. And that is the Lord of the Israelites. Mm-hmm. He's the only true power on the face of the earth. Mm-hmm. So don't go and worship no rock. Don't go and worship no statue. You understand know, that, that other people just do. Come in the school and you 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 praise the Lord. The right way that how you're supposed to praise the um the Lord. You understand? Know, um, yeah, um, six. no, just now give me John 15 and, and, and 3. Okay, I yeah, as you're saying, they understand that have laws that the, that the Lord set up, you know what I mean, and, and true counsel that men ad, that you advise to do, you know what I mean. Counsel is not a law, you know what I mean, but it's something that you should follow guidelines. So that is what we're missing in our communities, things to protect us now, and understanding that when you when you have counselors for everything, for every level, you understand what you had to go through. You need you need help with a mechanic. We have it inside it. People that specialize in it, the general them set it up, you understand, with wisdom to get counsel. You have a situation, you're married already outside, you understand, whatever the case is. You could call the school, you understand, and arrange to get counsel now to help your marriage and all of them different things. Now. So that is what I said, have plenty of wisdom that we just disconnected to as our people now. So that is what we are, that is what we're missing as we don't have nobody, as you're saying before, to diagnose how to deal with us and deal specifically with every situation accordingly. Not just this this one cut thing that these institutions and I'm giving you and is not and not helping you as a people. If all of somebody had to that's di- like a doctor supposed to diagnose you properly for your situation and deal with it accordingly. Don't don't get trapped up by that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't watch that and that is what going out us all the all the time as a people outside here. 
You understand? Yeah. Go and take the extra step. Go the extra mile to cover every ground, every base to make sure that you do things the right way that fit in for your situation. Yeah? The book of John chapter 15 verse 3. Read it. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Then go to the one in Acts 19. Come on, come on. Right? Now you are clean to the word which I have spoken unto you. Mm -hmm. Right, we don't? Yeah, that Acts what? No, that is John 15 and 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The book of John chapter 15 verse 3. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto right. you. Right, so now you are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. Mm -hmm. Right, so water don't make you get clean. The word does make you get clean. Right. So you've been molested at a young age. Mm -hmm. Once you get the word not to be a, a molester or not to be a homosexual or not to be a lesbian, you are cleaned through the word. Because when you hear the word, that will change you. Mm -hmm. Because the word is baptism. Right. Learning the Bible is baptism, not dipping in water. Right? You want to ask? Oh, you water? want from, from verse 2 or read down from verse 3? From verse 2 down. Come from come. Two, yeah. mm -hmm. The book of Acts chapter 19 and verse 2. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Right. So they Paul asked them, Have you received the Holy Spirit since you believed? Good. And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Spirit. Right, so they say, Nah, I never so much have heard that there be any Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. right. Verse 3 And he said unto them, Unto what then we baptize? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Right, so so they them was saying, Now, hey, we was baptized unto John's baptism, which is what? Dipping in water. Mm -hmm. That what they say, we was baptized unto John's baptism. Good. Verse 4 Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. Right, so now, Paul say, now, yeah, I know John, they Paul in water and say, all was baptized, but John also say that, hey, all us should believe on Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who should come after him. Mm -hmm. You understand? All us should believe in that person. Go ahead. Verse 5. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when they hear Paul saying those words, they was baptized. Mm -hmm. When so, they hear Paul saying those words, they was baptized. You know yes, sir. Okay. Baba if I may, sir, because plenty people hearing this and the same, and same familiar notion without understanding exactly what the scripture is talking about. You thinking that they just call Christ's name and they baptize, and that is it. What he's talking about here, the name of the Lord is the reputation of the Lord. So everything that he taught, the way he taught it, that is what they was baptized unto, or that's what they was taught on. Because baptism again is the washing of water by the word. Or at the answer the answer of a good conscience towards the Messiah. You get a good conscience, you learn what is not to do so that your mind clear in terms of exactly what to do. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you're talking about here in this verse here, it's talking about the name or the reputation of Christ. The same things that Christ said to do, live up to his reputation. You understand? So that that is how you start to apply yourself, you know. Right? That is what they baptize unto. So now they could walk right. Because the Lord said, this is my son whom, who I well pleased in. Listen to him. Hear ye him. You understand? That is, what he was, that is what the people get baptized unto. That is what the brothers and sisters in the ISPK sit down and get their minds clean towards so that they could now do the same thing. Now they could be able to be effective, you understand, in teaching people how to now do the same exact thing. To be like Paul. To be like this one. To be like that one. You understand? And that is what we people are lacking. Somebody, you understand, to follow after the right example. The right mindset, you understand? The right spirit to be after. Yes, right. So yeah, that, um, that is it. So again, if you want to contact us, contact us on 290-5173. Mm -hmm. Get in the ISGPK, learn the laws of the Bible. You cannot learn the laws of the Bible by going anywhere else. That's right. The ISUPK alone That's right. have the authority from the Lord to right. teach the Bible on the earth. That's right. Nobody else has the authority to do that. None. Correct. Correct. So like you said for me, and tune in to Black Watch at 9 Eastern Standard Time. 9 again Eastern Standard Time tonight. Tune in to Black Watch every Monday. PM, bringing you the truth according to the Bible. The ISUPK is a non-profit faith-based community organization that will respond to the plagues that's affecting blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. We also have programs such as education, both adult and youth, food distribution, rehabilitation, both drug and alcohol, mentoring, counseling, and spiritual support. Remember, tune in every Monday on 9.9 FM, 7.5 FM. Shalom. Shalom.